I hope you don't wait to give me roses Please don't take too long to think that you should know me Please, for real Please don't wait too long to tell me I'm the shit show See you flourish, looking salty, throwing fits, yo Then you bury, getting lonely, wanna miss, yo Get from around me, you clowny, you look to Welcome to another up. episode of Opinionated Facts I'm your host, Drizzle Today we got another special guest in the building My man, George Asafa Aj. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm almost forgot it for us. Yep. Hold on. I said, "Damn, this yep. nigga just told me." Yep. <laughs> yep. But uh, what's good? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm I'm alive. I'm blessed. You know, can't complain. Okay. How's the league treating you, man? It's alright. It's, it's good. You know, as long as the checks clear, <laughs> you know, I'm good. That's that's how you get it. You know. Okay. So just so what's the what's the uh. Like, what's the biggest difference that you've noticed since between the league and, like, playing college ball? What's what's one of the biggest differences? The biggest difference is, uh, <clears throat> I'll say, like, a like a more, um, it's less of a, a team vibe. Like, you know, you're not really committed that hard, you know, for your team because it's such a business that mm-hmm. you could easily be traded to, a rival team or whoever, whoever. Yeah. So it's like that's the only difference, really. But as far as like in the game, it's it's a lot more technical for sure. Mm-hmm. It's the same. It's the same as college ball, really. But it's a lot more technical, and you got the freaks that you know. This there's a reason why they're in the league. <laughs> yeah. they, there's an elite, and then there's you know it's football. Yeah, it's football. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, um, break it down for me, man, because I play a little bit of college ball, and I always, you know, just wonder, like, how, when I played, I was like, damn, like, is it like this everywhere? Like, is it literally a job, essentially, at every school that you go to? Mm-hmm. So, with you going to UK right up the road from Louisville, like, how was it, how was it for you all when y'all were in school? Like, was it, was it literally a job for you, or was it... You know, you just show up, you go to, you do your workouts, do practice, and that was it. Nah, it was, uh, it definitely feels like a job in camp, yeah. you know, but I feel like they do a good job during the season to make us, you know, not really feel like it's a camp vibe, you know what I mean? But um, it does feel like a job, though, for sure. Like, you wake up early, <laughs> and then you got to go work out on top of being, you know, in the season or in spring ball. Yeah. Or in summer workouts, which is, you know, how that is. And um, it's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's hell of a grind, even though we're in the facility for maybe four hours. It's, it's a grind in, the, in those four hours, and they get a lot out of you. And then you go to class, too. Yeah. So it feels like a job. Like, it feels like, and then you, you have to go to class, you know. It's a, you have to. Yeah, like, you it's not even like... It's not like even like a regular student where, oh no, nah, I'm gonna chill today. I can afford to chill today, you know. Like you can't, like you can't even make that decision. Like you gotta go. <laughs> so it's like it feels like it's a job because there's so many obligations. So, all right, what's your, uh, what's what would you say is your what, what was your is your best camp story? Cause I know every, everybody got a story about camp, but they just like, bro, I never. I never forget that camp. Like we did whatever. Like what's what's your? I, well, I ain't gonna say best. It's your worst camp story. It ain't no best in yeah, camp. Yeah, <laughs> camp. Ain't no best. Ain't no best in camp. Ain't no best in camp. All right. So the worst. Oh my gosh. It was when we first got that facility. Mm-hmm. When we first got our new facility. I don't know why. The whole week it was cool. Like it was six, like 69, 73, You know. And then our first day of practice. It was like 93. And we we all like, what? Like we've been conditioning in some like 70s weather. Yeah. So we used to that, like that's the vibe. We That's what we on. So we come out there and it's 93. And uh, I remember everyone was dead. Like, every, like after every every series you had, yeah. automatically on the sideline, huddled down and they'll bring, I, like, Ice towels yeah, on your neck. neck. 
Yeah, like, it was bad. And that was the first time, like, I noticed, like, the old, like, this is this like this camp is about to be real. It's about to get real. Yeah, because they were working us too. Like yeah. it was nonstop because we run like a fast paced offense. You know how it yeah. is. So like, were y'all doing two days? Yeah, or you know how it's not really two days. Yeah, but yes. they get the two out yeah. of here. They, <laughs> they get two something. You know, and they practice, but it's something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a bet. So, <clears throat> so you play for the New York Giants. Like, how is it playing up there with the New York Giants? I mean, the Giants haven't really been relevant as far as winning football games over the past few seasons, but they have been relevant in the news a lot, you know what I'm saying, for coaching changes, management, you yeah, know, yeah. situation with Odell, you know, situations yeah. like that. So, like, how, like what's, the, what's the environment up there with the New York Giants? Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an environment where, I mean, to me, like they demand, you know, excellence. Oh, yeah. And at the end of the day, we're the players. We got to go out and execute. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens, like injury wise. It's football, like, yeah. bro. It's <laughs> football. Like, at the end of the day, you know how it is after the game. You banged up. Yeah. And then, you know, life happens too. Like, it's some things just, you know, happen like that. But, you know, I feel like they demand, they demand excellence. We just gotta buy into it, you know. Not even buy into it. We bought into it, but we just gotta do it. Like it's at the end, of we you could talk about something all day, but you gotta go do it, you know. So that's just where I feel like we at, and we ready to go do it. So okay. yeah. Okay. So how is it, bro? Because. Every team has a star. Every team has, like, no matter what level, high school, college, NFL, whatever, you always got a star on the team. But how is it playing with, essentially, a generational talent in Saquon right. Barkley? Like, yeah. and, and watching him do what he does. Because I ain't going to yeah. lie, when he sprained his ankle, I said, he's, gone. he's out for eight <clears throat> to nine weeks. And he came back in the like, uh, yeah. four. You know what I'm saying? Like, so being – up close and personal, like watching a guy of that type, that level of talent, like, like what is that like? I mean, because I don't think people understand just watching it from yeah, TV. Because yeah, yeah, you, like, you got to see it in person. Be like he, the person he is. He, like Saquon is the definition of a competitor. Mm -hmm. Like that motherfucker will argue in the locker room about <laughs> some ping pong. Like <laughs> he's ready to play anyone. Like yeah, yeah. that's just who he is. So that's just it. I, I'm like, I wouldn't expect anything different to be on the field. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just him outside of football, I wouldn't expect him to not be, you know, eating every weekend. You know, like, he's he's a competitor. So, yeah, yeah that's that's really it. Like, <laughs> yeah, nah, he's, yeah, he's, he's on it. He, he's different. I'm not going to lie. When he was at Penn State, um, because that was, I think that was, that was the year after Lamar when, when the highs were. So, Lamar was trying to. Win the second one. I think is that the year Baker won. I think it's the year Baker won the Heisman, and it was Baker, Lamar, and Saquon. I mm. believe in the Heisman race. And I was I was hating on Saquon a little. Everybody was like Saquon's like man, he ain't that real. And I can't remember what game it was, man, but he just went crazy. And I said, oh, this dude's different. Yeah, yeah. I said, like I said, he's different, man. Yeah. Like just like watching football, you can always tell. You know, he said, oh, he's a good player. This dude's a good player. But, yeah, he's like, like, the same thing. When I seen, when I watched, used to watch Christian McCaffrey play a stem mm -hmm. line, that guy's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a white running back. But right. He's going to be nice. Right. You know, you can tell he's going to be nice. And I seen Saquon, I said, whoever got the first pick got to take, bro. Yeah, like, no, yeah. no, no matter. I don't care if you're the quarterback. You take that dude. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because right. you, don't, you don't come across a, a running back like that. So, just, uh, like I said, just for you to be able to see that in person, I mean, I know it's probably – it's probably crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. probably practice. He probably does some shit. Like, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, but uh, you got this clothing line, man. Genie merch, man. Let's talk about that. So explain that. All right. So Genie merch is um, basically like a little idea I had just to spread like positivity, like positive messages. And um, I had like my first line, which is warrior. So, you know, I just believe all of us, we have some kind of stories. You know, no matter who you are, you have some kind of story. You have 
some kind of struggle you've overcame in life, you know? Everyone is and everyone will mm -hmm. overcome something. So, you know, we're all warriors and um, that's why I did that. And I try to like make a little sleep, you know, design for it. And I have a lot more coming out too, but uh, this is just like the start and we just launched up. It's a uh, geniemerch.com and um, it'll, we got some uh, pray more. It's uh, basically that says like this it explains itself, you know, pray more, you know, yeah. instead of relying on everything else in the world, like just, you know, pray about it. And that's just something I believe in, you know, whoever else, you know, <laughs> believe in that, then, yeah. you know. So, like, what? Pop it. <laughs> so, like, do you all have like all different type of clothes or just like shirts right now? Or nah, just right now, shirts and uh, hoodies. And we oh. got sleeveless hoodies too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, what are you looking to do like with that brand? Are you looking to take it and just like, just be something that's like oh. part of your, you know, I didn't, you know, something you do on the side or are you really looking like <clears throat> No, nah, that's like my LLC is a Genie LLC. Okay. And um, it's not even, it wasn't really even supposed to be merch. Like I just doing merch because I'm playing football and I'm mm. like too busy to do the stuff I really want to do. But I'm actually about to launch a program and that's what Genie really is. It's like a, a health and wellness based um, company. And um, my plan is to, you know, help the world. That's what I got my um, degree in is community leadership and development. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring like healthier food to kids and, you know, do some kind of like a training facility. I want to start it in Lex because, you know, people know my name in Lex and um, open like a, a basically like a training facility for like kids, do like a kids program, train some athletes in there too, and then half of the gym be a, um, like a membership based kind of gym. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's like my little plans for mm -hmm. my, in the future. And uh, that's what like Genie really is going to be though. It's going to be. <laughs> way more than way just more merch, than merch yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, that's dope, man. You, yeah. you didn't do uh, you didn't do communications like the rest of us, but nah. football, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you nah. really got into something that you really wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like, have you like actively started like you know finding a location mm -hmm. and, and doing everything like that here in Lexington? Nah, not even the Lexington. I'm uh, I'm actually moving to Jersey. Okay, and uh, I'm collaborating with David Allen Caters. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Basically, they're gonna let me, you know, use their facility and their ingredients and all that. And, you know, I'll probably pay something a month, whatever that is, but that's where I'm gonna start. And um, <clears throat> in New Jersey, in New York, their schools, they end in, um, I think it's like June, mm -hmm. like mid-June or end of June. So I'm planning to start in March, get the program rolling, you know, get that going and then next school year really advertise that out and then get that gym going okay yeah okay actually now are you from jersey no nah, i'm actually from the bronx okay. and uh half bronx half cincinnati I, I moved to cincinnati when i was young like eight years old and then um been living there since but okay so that's i'm used to that area though i have cousins out there okay so that's how you ended up at uk you yeah. went to, you was in school. I'm gonna say, yeah. who's from New York? How the hell? <laughs> nah. Go to no going to school in UK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's dope. Now, uh, now as far as, you know, with the Genie merch and everything, well, <clears throat> beyond the Genie merch, you say you want to focus on the, on the wellness side of it and get the gym popping and everything. Like, like, where do you see that at in, I say about three to five years? Three to five years? Yeah. Um, as far as the, um, helping kids with the meals mm -hmm. in the gym, yeah. oh yeah, it's gonna, I feel like I'll have like two locations for sure, probably in Jersey and then Lex, okay. and um, <clears throat> at that point, like, I want to try to franchise the idea and push that idea and get people to invest in it and, you know running in other places because it is a need yeah kids need to get active and uh kids need to eat better yeah. you know like we're literally like killing ourselves off of what we eat every day right I, 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 we I, don't I, even think about it you know what i mean yeah, for real we don't think about it but we just had a conversation somebody was telling me bro that they eat 
four packs of ramen a day. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> because that's they not. because they need sodium. Uh, There's other ways to get sodium, but they yeah, said but that's. A, I, I try to tell them, but they they adamant about that four packs of ramen gets them the amount of sodium that they need. So yeah, I, I don't know about that. Then. Yeah, I, I told her, I said, bro, we got to sit there and talk about this because I know it's a better way to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a better way for you to get some eat. Like, yeah. eat a little salt or something, eat a salt lick or something, bro. Yeah. <laughs> don't eat four packs of right. ramen in a day, bro. you be killing yourself. Yeah. Um, okay, but that's dope. That's dope, man. That's, that's, that's real good, man. You got a passion for something, you know, besides football. I mean, a, a lot of people... A lot of players, I feel like, you know, they, they, which is changing now, but I feel like it was a period of time where players, like, after college or after the league, you know, because your career span in the league is, what, like, three to five years or something, like, it's, it's not, it's not forever, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going to end at some point, and everybody doesn't go to the league after college, you know, but you know, a lot of people, they get stuck in limbo, like, I don't yeah. know what to do with that ball, right. um, that's dope that you already got an idea like this is like even after ball ball ends in 10 years or next year five years whatever yeah. i i know what i want to do right you're already starting to lay that groundwork so that's dope but uh let's get back to football for a little bit man who i want to ask you man and, and, so you you was at you you was at uk for four years mm -hmm. yeah, so four years. while while you was at uk man you in the sec you played against some of the best, right. you know what I'm saying, to, to play in the conference, to go into the league, you being a right tackle. You the you one of the money linemen, you know, you the, mm -hmm. protecting the quarterback, you know, on the edge. Mm -hmm. I say who was who was I say who was the best who was the best player you probably you ever played against and who was the toughest opponent you had? Alright, so best player Definitely, uh, Derek Barnett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Derek Barnett, and uh, yeah. But the toughest, mm -hmm. <laughs> like defense. Yeah. Proud, definitely, um, Mississippi State. Okay, but well, they had a, who's this? Uh, Sweet. Yeah, Sweet. 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 Yeah, he, he was he was he's solid. Like he's a dog. Yeah, he's, he's solid. He's definitely like, a dog. It's it's really close, like. With Barnett, yeah. But I was younger though when I went against Barnett, you know. But still, like he was, he was solid. What, 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 what made him such a tough, such a tough player to play against? Oh, he, I don't know how, but he knew our snap kind of like <laughs> better than like he knew, like he got off the ball better than me, and I knew the snap count. Like, yeah. I knew it was on two, and I and I was pretty good at getting off the ball. Yeah, and he would already. He's on. Like, by the time I'm doing this, he right here. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's solid. Okay. Okay, that's dope. Now, uh, do you still, <clears throat> excuse me, do you still, like, you know, keep in touch with a lot of your, like, former teammates and everything? Mm -hmm. The ones that are in the league, y'all still, like, y'all like a close-knit group? I mean, yeah, we talk, like, we got, like, a little group message, so. Okay. Yeah, we always, you know, chat or you know, make fun of each other, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I, I, honestly, I thought, so did Barnett play for UK? No, no. No, he played for... Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay, yeah. that's who he played for. That's who he played for. So I'm about to say, I'm going to say, damn, he didn't play. I'm trying to think. Who was the... Not, Josh? No, not Josh. It was uh, somebody before Josh. It might have been right before you. Uh, fucking Bud. Bud, yeah. Bud, yeah. Bud was a... Bud was a dog. Yeah, that's who. Yeah. I, that's who I was thinking of. Or I was like, I was like, he probably probably went up against Bud in practice. Was you there with Bud? Nah, mm -hmm. Okay, Bud. Bud was before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I okay. never went against Bud. Yeah. Well, I know. I know Josh is a dog. I know if you're yeah. going up against somebody like him every day in practice well, and shit. That was. That's really yeah, the best person I went up against. Josh. For real, yeah. Yeah. Now he he was definitely. I ain't gonna lie. I I I'm. I'm pro U of L, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, I, 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 <laughs> I'm pro U of L, and I'll, I'm I'm always reluctant to give UK players any type of credit. Like, mm -hmm. any type, bro. Like, right. from Stevie Johnson to Andre Woods, <laughs> I don't give them no credit. Yeah. But I ain't going to lie, man. Benny and Josh... Yeah, I gave it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I watched them a few games. I said, "Oh, they were." You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. they, like you know, what I'm saying Benny's doing his thing. You know, hopefully he gets you know, you know, more burn with the Steelers and you know, next season and everything. But 
I knew off the bat, I said, yo, this, this Josh Allen dude, bro. He's, he's different, bro, because he reminded me of, he reminded me a little bit of uh, JPP. Yeah. But he kind of had that that Alden Smith in him, too. Like, he, he just, like, he, right. yeah, like, yeah. but he just, like, <clears throat> like, Alden, the thing about Alden, bro, he just, he just kept moving, like, he didn't stop moving. You know what I'm saying? Like even after he made the play, he would he would just keep running sometimes. Like, he would, <laughs> like, he would yeah. just keep running. Like bro, like calm down. You know what I'm saying? Like and when I watched Josh play, he, he had that JPP. He was he was slender. Yeah. But he had the power. He had the quickness. You right. feel me? He had the feet work, the hands. So I was like, yeah, Josh, he's a he's a dog. Yeah, you know for sure. Okay, that's dope. Now, uh, shit, you got any shout outs? Oh yeah. That's not always. <laughs> You know, shout out my mom. You know, shout out my family mm -hmm. for sure. First and foremost, yes, sir. shout out all my homies that you know might tap into this. I can't name them all. I got hella, hella homies. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to my former teammates. Um, you know, people that pe people know like they know who I'm shouting out. Yeah. So you know, much respect to y'all and uh, you know. We gonna keep grinding, we gonna keep getting money, we gonna keep advancing, and man. <laughs> That's a bet. You got any yeah. guarantees for next season? Giants in the playoffs? No, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't saying nothing. Y'all at least gonna beat the Cowboys. Yeah, though, right? for sure. Facts. Okay, all right. As long as, long, uh, long, long as y'all beat the Cowboys yeah, twice, man, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm, I'm good off them boys, yeah, man. I can't. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Mm -hmm. Chopping it up, talking football, talking about the merch, and I ain't even say the merch, man. You talking about the the, the lifestyle, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Genie so. merch, the lifestyle, man. Getting the wellness wellness program set, the gym for the kids. Hopefully, when it gets popping or when it gets started, everything is laid down. People support it as they should, and uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. So, oh, yeah, for sure. Like I said, man, it's been another dope episode of Opinionated Facts, and we out. Peace. And it breaks my heart. Hey. And it breaks my heart. Yeah. Get paid a pretty penny for my thoughts. I'm hard away with grandma. I'm hot. They only care about a nigga when he handed a rap. Or when he dishing the pill. Or when he gripping the steel. Bailing out my brother. Tell the lawyer, get the appeal. With a flick of the pen. Write the check.